This is Cameron Chai bringing another episode of Azo TV. And today we're speaking to Tom Levesque, who's working with XCI, and he's going to tell us about their Evactron decontamination system. Very good, Cameron. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here and work with you again. Um, I'm here today with XEI and I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, a system that people use to clean vacuum chambers. Very common to clean the electron microscope or focused ion beam or dual beam chamber with uh, a device that's actually a plasma. Now we don't use the plasma to clean directly. We don't use the ion beam of, 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 that are produced from the plasma, but we produce gas radicals and we do a chemical cleaning. So it's a very popular technique. You will see, if you look up here on this board, you can see the example of uh, residual hydrocarbons that are in an electron microscope. And what happens to them if the electron beam impinges on that surface, it deposits those hydrocarbons. So you get contamination appearing in, in the shape of the raster. Uh, if you use our plasma, you can actually remove the contamination from the chamber and from the sample itself. So that's a, a before and after picture of a real world sample. Um, we have over 1,300 of our plasma radical sources uh, installed uh, around the world on a number of different electron microscopes. This is the actual plasma radical source. The gas that we use is most commonly air, so we're using the oxygen radicals in the air uh, to do the actual work. Um, the plasma stays inside here and the gas molecules move into the chamber. This is a small chamber that people use to clean in. Uh, they can take their samples, they can put them in there, they can insert transmission electron microscope specimens and holders in through these ports as well. We'll pump it down and let it uh, do its thing here while we talk about the controllers and the systems. As I said, we have roughly 1,100 uh, oh, 1,300, excuse me, the number keeps going up. <laughs> Systems in the field today where people have this device on an electron microscope, they can take this off and put it, mount it on one of what we call a soft clean chamber. That allows them to uh, turn their microscope cleaning system into a desktop plasma cleaning system with a rather simple operation of moving this, only a KF40 flange that holds it onto the electron microscope chamber. So we can go from that system to something that's even newer today, and that's a combined system. This is our combi clean over here. And the combi clean will allow you to insert your transmission electron microscope uh, holders and samples, or open the chamber and put uh, your specimens in here and clean them. The difference here is that there are two plasma radical sources. There's an integrated internal plasma radical source, uh, which operates here, but there's a simple switch that allows us to go between a remote and a local uh, state. So we're driving more than one plasma radical source uh, with one system. It's very, very cost effective. Um, the prices on these are much lower than complete new uh, plasma cleaning systems. Uh, and in fact, the combined system over there is about $35,000. So, that's kind of what we're showing here at the show. Um, we're, we're bringing our technology from the column to the desktop, and we're doing it in two steps. One is uh, for our existing customers to easily add this desktop capability, and the other is for people that are purchasing new systems to run multiple plasma radical sources with one controller. There you go. Now we have plasma ignition. It's stabilized. It's reached the appropriate operating parameters, and uh, you see the pink glow. Uh, result of uh, using air as an inlet gas and generating plasma. And Tom, what's the, what's the reason why it's so important to remove all these contaminants and things like that? Well, um, it's the world, <laughs> we live in a dirty world. <laughs> uh, and these contaminants, if they're in the system, will interfere with the resolution that the microscope can produce. They will uh, interfere with the analytical data that the microscope can produce. If you're seeing carbon on samples, and the carbon is actually from the environment that, uh, uh, that, it's, that it's produced from and not from the sample itself, it, it will give spurious results. Uh, there's a lot of data in the literature that shows that these uh, plasma systems will purify and clean the environment of the microscope or the chamber and that the end result is better pictures, better quality data. All right, Tom, so if anybody wants more information about the Vactron decontamination system, they can find that on your on the XCI website? The XCI website is, exact, is, is at evactron.com.
And uh, there's a tremendous amount of information, success stories, and product information there uh, at that, evactron.com. Okay, Tom, thanks for taking a few minutes to tell us about the Evactron decontamination system. Thank you, Cameron. It's always great to work with you.